Hi everyone and welcome to Create It Real Photo. My name is Michael. I'm creating this video and I'm going to be showcasing three pictures for you today. And in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way of basically removing distractions out of photos. In this case, I have three photographs for you, as you can see, number one, number two, and number three. And in these three photographs, in the background, we have graffiti. And I'm going to show you simple ways that I use myself to remove graffiti off of the background. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this very first photo. As you can see, we have a young lady. She's standing right here, right here in the center. We can all see it. The area that we're going to be concentrating on is this portion that's right through here. Now, we're not going to be taking away everything, but I'm just going to show you a little bit of what you can do to remove this graffiti off of this first photo. Very simple. I already have the base image, as you can see, and I already have made a copy of it right here at the top. This one right here is what we're going to be working on. So, what we're going to do is, as you can see, here's the graffiti right here on the wall. So, what we can do is use the, what's called the spot healing brush. Simply click on it. Right or left mouse bracket key. Bring this puppy up. There we go. Making sure my computer is working with me. Now, depending on the type of photograph that you use, sometimes it will work exactly the way that you want it to, and sometimes it won't. If it doesn't work exactly the way that we're looking for, we can always retry it. That's the great thing about software and about Photoshop. If it doesn't succeed the first time, try and try again. So that's what we're going to do. So, I've already increased the brush size of the spot healing tool. So what I'm going to do is, just like so, I'm going to kind of do like this. I just want to see what it's going to do for us. Is it going to remove anything? Is it not? If it's not, then we can see what it is going to do. You see what it did? It brought more of her into the photograph. That's not what we want. So I want to go ahead and hit undo spot and it brought us right back to where we were. So. I'm going to retry this and hopefully it'll actually give us a little bit better result. Like I said, when it doesn't succeed the first time, you try and try again. So I'm going to come right through here and I'm just do just like this and just see what it gives us. Maybe gives us a little bit more of a something. There, see how the last time we saw more of her face, but this time we didn't? That all depends on how Photoshop looks at the algorithm of what it's taking from. So right this moment, I'm simply doing little bit pieces here and there. To kind of give us a little bit of an edge. Now I'm not saying that each photograph is going to be like this for you because it won't be. Some of these photographs have a lot more detail to it but on this particular one this is what we're working on is this little piece of graffiti. But as you can see I'm doing small little pieces at a time and it's removing the graffiti somewhat pretty good. So I'm going to remove just a little bit more through here and just see what we can do. Okay. Just click on it. If it doesn't remove it completely, I'm going to click on it again and just see what it gives us. See, a little bit more of that time. Perfect. It's doing quite well. I'm just doing up just a little bit of time. Not trying to do a whole lot. Don't want to actually have the software do any more than what it has to. So as you can see, how it's basically took all that graffiti out. So let me show you the before and then the after. Okay, so that's the before. That's the after. As you can see, there's a little bit of stubble remain. That's okay. We can kind of do like this, kind of over it a little bit, just to kind of give it back the the brick color that it has. But as you can see, here's the before, and there's the after. Okay, so that's how you would do it for this particular tool against that particular wall. You use a spot healing brush, and you go over it just like I did. I know it takes a little while, but it gets the job done, okay? So next, we're going over to this image. What we're going to concentrate on is this portion. Well, we can concentrate on this portion that's right here on the Y, okay? So this is what we're going to do. Same, same tool. We're using the exact same tool, the Spot Healing Brush. We don't know how it's going to act with the Y, but we're definitely going to try to see if we can just politely just go over it like this. 
and just see what all it captures. If it does the same thing it did like it did last time, we know to redo it. And it took off more this time than what it did last time on the last video. So you know what? That's perfect. All we have to do is go over just a little bit, increase the size, and we're just kind of going over different pieces here and there just to see what it looks like, okay? So we can concentrate on more than just the Y. I mean, I can even remove the I over here with the same type of brush. We can go over the uh, some of the letters here just like this. As you can see, it's just removing it just like a spot stain remover. And it's wonderful. So we're just kind of going over it just like so. Yes, it does take a while, but if you have one picture in your whole session that has a bunch of stuff in the background that you want to have removed and you have something in the background that highly contrasts against the background such as if you have a telephone pole against a blue sky if you have such as these words right here that's against this type of a neutral background then you can use a spot healing spot healing brush and you can remove these pieces just like I'm doing it may take a little while, but in the end, see how that right there, that's the original, and that's what we did. See, the original, and that's what we did. And all it takes is the spot healing tool, right here, the spot healing brush tool, to remove that. Very simple to do. We're coming right over here to this photograph. Same scenario. You have her right in the middle, and you have, well, BC, I got high. Okay, congratulations. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually zoom in to this portion using the same tool. This is the very same technique that people use on taking out distractions, whether it be birds in the background, other people against contrast. It's easier to do it when you have backgrounds where there's contrast. And what I mean by contrast is these colors are not of the same type of variant. Now, if it was light blue against a dark blue, that would probably be a lot harder to do and you'd probably would need another tool in order to be able to do it. But with this being a blue on top of basically an off white to a cream colored white, it's much easier because the colors contrast that all you have to do is simply grab this tool and brush over it. That's what's making it a lot easier for us to be able to do. See, if I brush over like this, let's see if it takes out the mental portion. Boom, just like that, you see, before, and after and removing it just like that that's what it does yeah it kind of copies some of the brick and that's okay just do like that over the brick and it moves removes another way let's see what we can do with the C bring over here just like this with the C and let's see how much of the C it removes in one swipe just like that that's the before and that's the after and as you can see just a few simple strokes of the spot healing brush tool took out the line that you saw here and took out the C just like this before and after let's see what we can do with the B real quick if we can just roll over the B and let's see how much of the B it takes out boom just like that before and after you see the B is gone the C is gone and the slash is gone now yeah you may want to go back and make sure that the colors and saturation stuff through here matches you know the way that you're wanting it to but as far as removing the distractions out of the background that's how you do it right there ladies and gentlemen you can do it as simple as with this spot healing brush tool running over the letter or whatever the object happens to be in the photograph and that's the result that you get before and after. That's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, right there. So bringing this back to you, as I said, you can remove distractions out of the background, whether it's people, characters, objects, anything like that. You can go into Photoshop and you can do exactly what I just did and get the same exact results. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video. That's just a small covering of what Adobe Photoshop can do for you in your photographs and the same tools that I just used and the same results I just got is the very same thing that you too can also achieve on your own photographs. I want to say this is Michael Davidson with Create It Real Photo. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to bringing you the next episode and I'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great day.